Hello everyone and welcome to Teach Tech. This is the third video of the Linux basic command tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss about different commands like copy, move, different varieties of ls commands and chmod commands. So let's get started. First of all, let's create three directories level 1 level 2 and level 3 by using mkdir mkdir space level 1 space level 2 space level 3 enter now let's change the working directories to level 1 by using cd command cd space level 1 now create a file called as file 1 inside the level 1 folder you can use cat or tots command now let's come back to the home directory using cd command. Now we are going to use the cp command for copying the file from level 1 to level 2. So give the command a cp space. The file that we are going to copy is the file 1 which is inside level 1 folder. So first we need to give the location for level 1. So level 1 and hit tab and give the file one name and now give the location where the file one is going to be copied so the file is going to be copied into the level 2 folder type level level 2 and hit enter in this way we have copied the file one from level 1 to level 2 to verify give tree command you can see that the file one is inside the level 1 folder and the same file one is inside the level 2 folder. You can also give different varieties of ls commands to verify content that you have made. ls command is used for listing the files. If you only simply give the ls command, it will list only the unhidden files. If you give ls space minus a, it will show you all the hidden and unhidden file. Generally, system files are hidden. If you give ls space minus l command, it is going to list the permissions and different other details of unhidden files. If you give ls space minus al, it will display the permissions, user details, date and time of file creations of all the system files hidden and unhidden and also if you give ls space minus rl it will display all the files and directories and their all detail informations recursively now let's use mv command for moving the files from one location to another location here we can use mv command to move file 1 from level 1 to level 3. So give command mv space level 1 file 1 and we want to move this file 1 from level 1 to level 3. Hit enter. Now verify by giving tree command. The file named as file1 from level1 is moved to level3 folder. mv command is also used for renaming the files. For example, if I want to rename this file1 as file3, I can go to level3 by giving cd space level3. And now let's use mv command mv space file1. This file one is the old name, old file name. Now let's give the new file name, file three. Now the file one is going to be renamed as file three. Give ls command and you can see now file one is renamed as file three. You can do these operations by directly uh, using these kind of paths. So we call it as or you can also change the location and do it there. Save. 
chmod command deals with the file and folder permission in the Linux. In Linux, access to the files is managed through the file permissions. chmod command can be used to add or remove file or folder permission. There are three types of files and folder permission. Read permission represented by R. Write permission represented by W and execute permission represented by X. Read allows you to view the content. Write allows you to edit the content and execute allows you to run the content. In Linux, each file is associated with different types of user. They are user or owner, group and others. User is the owner or the creator of the file. Group contains multiple users including the owner. Others is the any other user who has access to a file. But this person has neither created the file nor he belongs to a user group who could own the file. Now let's check the file permission of the file tree inside the level 3 folder by giving command ls space minus al. Here you can see the specific file permission. This file permission represents the permission for user, group and others. The first permission rw is the read and write permission for the user only. The second permission rw is the read and write permission for the group. And third person r is only the read person for others. Now let's learn how to change the file permission. There are two methods to change the file permission. One is the normal method or alphabetical method and the other one is the octal method. In normal method we use the command format such as chmod space u g o plus or minus r w x space file name. In this format if you want to add the permission you can use plus sign in between and if you want to remove the permission you can use minus sign in between. Also if you want to add only specific permission like only read or write or execute, you can add or remove R or W or X. If you want to add or remove permission to a specific category like user or a group or others, you can add or remove U or G or O. Let's try to change the permission of the file tree. Let's give all the read, write and execute permission to all types of users for file tree. chmod space u g o plus r w x space file tree. Let's check the permission again. Give ls space minus al. Similarly, you can practice other operations. Now let's learn about the octal method. In octal method, digit 4 represents the read permission. Digit 2 represents write permission and digit 1 represents execute permission. If you want to give all read, write and execute permission, then you have to add 4, 2 and 1 which totals is equals to 7. 
and if you want to remove all the permission then you have to give zero let's look at our example give the command chmod zero 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 space file three this means remove all the permission read write and execute for user groups and others let's check it by giving ls space minus al if you want to add read and write permission for only user you have to use six zero zero like give the command chmod space six zero zero space file three now again let's check it it's correct so this is how you have to use octal method for file permission i hope you understood the concept this is it for today if you have any question do ask in the comment section below do like and share this video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you on the next tutorial of linux command series thank you for watching have a good day